Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the new Breaker version 2.0 upgrade. Breaker is a huge collection of over 80 pristine multi-sampled drum kit and auxiliary percussion elements recorded bone dry and up close with eight velocity layers to really give you a tight, rich, and aggressive sound with a vibrant stereo field. This library is all you need for crafting truly authentic electro-organic break beats or DIY style drum grooves and much more. This library is also built for Contact version 5.5 or later. Breaker also comes with 20 handcrafted sound design ambient pads, textures, and drones for you to use, along with 20 custom effects presets that we've created for you to use to spark your inspiration and just get working fast and just to really show you what kind of powerful new features come with the new Breaker version 2.0 upgrade. So let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and new features that come with the library. All right, so with the ensemble loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you some of the different sounds that come with Breaker. So let's go ahead and check some of these out. So by selecting Ensemble from the drop-down menu, you can see that it really makes it easy to just kind of pick and choose and play around on the keyboard and find some sounds that you like, make some different grooves out of them. If let's say you wanna go ahead and open up the Advanced tab, uh, turn on the arpeggiator and just maybe hold a few keys down. And with the arpeggiator, it really works great with this kind of library because you can get some really fast-paced drum grooves going on. If let's say you wanna go in here and just And then also in the drop down menu, you have these different bongos, clicks, and clacks. So if you just want to choose those and take those sounds and have all of them, you know, mapped around the keyboard. And it's all pitched and stretched across the keyboard so you can get a little bit of variety as far as how you can use these different sounds. Then you have some different ones to choose from. You have click one, click two, click three, click four, and then click five. So always make sure to check into the subcategory dropdown because there might be some other options that you can choose. So with layers one and two, you can pick and choose and how you want to stack the different sounds. So if let's say you want to go into layer two and then you want to turn it on, you can also take this and, and pitch it down or something like that. So let's say we want to take this, pitch it down to, let's do an octave. And then if you want to map the mod wheel to the CC, set layer two to layer B layer one to layer A, and these correspond to the crossfade right here. So layer A is right here, layer B is right here, and if you wanna fade in between. So that kind of beefs up the sound a little bit more, and then if you wanna beef it up even more, you wanna add in the sub synth, and we can take this, we could even pitch this down to, let's go down to, let's go down to an octave two and see what happens. Turn this up a little bit. So 
can hear that sub bass under there really fills out the sound and gives it a little bit more of that kind of hip hop sound to it a little bit. With this library, you also have 20 handcrafted sound design pads and drones and textures to play around with. So let's go ahead and play through some of those. And don't forget to check out the advanced tab which has some LFO, filter, and arpeggiator functionality to really take the sound in the sound design direction but really musical at the same time. So uh, it's definitely something to play around with. So if let's say you want to turn on the filter and then set this to mod wheel, you can go ahead and then... You know, add some really quick... Uh, filtering and then if you want to arpeggiate it you can go ahead and turn on the arpeggiator and then get some other sounds going.
So some really quick and easy ways to get some cool and unique sounds out of this library. Breaker also comes with 20 custom sound design effects presets for you to choose and utilize in your own music. So if you want to really get an idea of how powerful this new upgrade really is, you can really see how that functionality comes to life in the custom effects presets. So now let's go ahead and play through some of those and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of what the sounds are and what's possible with the library.
All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of the new Breaker version 2.0 upgrade. If you want to learn more about the library or learn how you can upgrade if you're a previous owner, make sure to go to soundbaron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.